नमामि गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दधासी नित भावान सदा नरान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वाराणसी पुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुष वदने लक्ष्मीश च वक्षसी यस्ते दे सिंहमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे तस्मादुरुपिपदे तो जिज्ञासु श्रेयमुतम शब्दे परे च निस्नात ब्रह्मणी उपसमाश्रय तस्मादुरुप्रपदे तो जिज्ञासु श्रेयमुतम शब्दे परे च निस्नात ब्रह्मणी उपसमाश्रय गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परम जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट योर एक्चुअल फॉल्स ईगो व्हाट इज देयर इनसाइड यू दैट टू क्विट दैट टू लीव दैट इज एक्चुअल शरणागति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम हंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट टू जस्ट एक्चुअल फॉल्स ईगो वॉट इज देयर इन साइड योर हार्ट दैट इज एक्चुअल एक्चुअल भक्ति जस्ट टू किट दैट जस्ट टू लीव दैट सरंग शरणागति हुई जहा प्रार्थना सुने श्री नंद कुमार अनुकूल मात्र कार्य रिका भक्ति प्रतिकूल मात्र बर्जन अंगीकार सरंग शरणागति हईवे जहाँ प्रार्थना सुने श्रीनंद कुमार ये शास्त्र का दिस इज द एक्चुअल विचार ऑफ द शास्त्र और यहाँ एंड हेयर स्वयं भगवान दैट भगवान स्वयं He is actually in the form of Gurudev in front of Arjun, Arjun and Arjun also is not at all a bonded jiva, but still he is actually behaving like on the basis of all the bonded jivas. He is representing himself. He is one kind of representative for all the bonded jivas. That sixth kind of Sharanagati now it doesn't look externally from inside Arjun at present. and that he is speaking that uh, just like a pandit that he has just got the topmost sphere again his life he is speaking like that in bhagwat ji mahapuran that uh, the actual uh, glorification in that uh, of bhagwat ji mahapuran it is there written one shloka asar sansar khalu duksh roop bima kaha sutah kasya dhanam kasyo snehavan jalate anisham asar sansar khalu that what bhakti mr thakur has done in the kirtan bhakti mr thakur in kirtan is already speaking sansar ei chhaya baji pae ihate mamata kori bitha din jaye bhakti mr thakur in kirtan already only in one time he is speaking from where this sansar has come this material sansar is coming from where this sansar is coming 
फ्रॉम वेयर वॉट इज द एक्चुअल इन दैट विषय वाई यू आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग ऑल द टाइम बिजी इन दिस मटीरियल संसार फ्रॉम वेयर दिस मटीरियल संसार एज कम I am just wasting my time in this material world. That's it. In all these uh, foolish material things, I am just wasting my time. This is the actual point. No, from where this sansar has come. Like a mirage, you can see that on a very deserted area where there is so much hot. There it looks as if. some water we can see from very far distant place and the deer or other kind of any species or animal or maybe human being they can just go they are actually feeling very thirsty and they are just running towards that water and just where they are actually seeing water they are actually they are coming but there is no water and again they are going there again they are again running there but still after that running and running but still they want saw that it, the water is not there it is again more far away so like this illusion this is actually called illusion maya maya marichika that marichika we can speak my rage my rage we can speak that this tattva ka this tattva this is just one uh, one kind of uh, magical tattva that uh, that with the sand some adjacent air layer is there and that uh, it becomes uh, hot and it's just evaporating up and after evaporating and again it's just uh, looks like that as if some water is there so like this in this uh, as this that 23 tat there is one magic spell it is that we are just seeing as if some water is there some evaporation is there it looks like that externally but actually it the water is not at all there the it is one and the same thing that in this whole material sansar all persons that this is just two life of two days and they don't have any kind of uh, when they will be just leaving their body they don't have any kind of uh, any adjustment sila parikshit maharaj ji that they have seven days with him he has seven days with him that he will leave his body within seven days but we don't have even one fraction of second time guarantee also that when we will leave our body sila parikshit maharaj has seven days with him that he knows that he will leave his body within seven days but we don't have even a fraction of second we don't know that when we will be leaving our body we don't have that guarantee when nishwas will when our vital of vital layers will just get uh, over or blocked we don't know at all that's why bachpan se hi from the early childhood only when we are actually getting our consciousness back then from there only we have to start our bhajan shri la prarad maharaj ji speaking sukham indriya kam daitya deho yoge no dehi nam sarvatra labhate yasmad yatha dukham ayatnata Yeah, we, we are we are getting the instructions that don't waste your time at all even fraction of second from childhood only you just need to start your hari naam when you got your consciousness from the early childhood when you're getting the actual consciousness pralad maharaj ji actually speaking directly to all those asuras uh, child that uh, to his friends small ch- small children and asuras that oh friends sarvatra labhati yasmad yathadukham ayatnata But what do you mean by happiness? That I have uh, before some days I have already done in front of you. What is actual happiness? That whatever our material sense organs are there, each and every individual material sense organs have some different objective of enjoyment, and for those separate uh, enjoyment by that individual enjoyment of our sense organs. that some kind of external happiness of our sense organs we need that kind of enjoyment we need 
that is called enjoyment we are seeking that with the material things with that respective material things that our uh, respective material sense organs want some kind of enjoyment that by just get connection with those uh, materially sensual things that our material sense organ want to enjoy those materially sensual things that it is just for temporary purpose available that bonded jeevas are uh, feeling that it is permanent happiness but it's not like that like happiness and uh, for distress or sorrow there is no definition actually there is no actual definition for this why because happiness and sorrow there is one kind of no present past and future at all no past present and future background is there for this kind of distress and happiness what we are facing in this material world that it means past present and future on the basis of that it has no kind of uh, existence at all so what which are you can get out of that ha ah, maybe you can speak like that up till this point that bonded jee was in front of them that uh, that what they are actually feeling according to their previous sanskar which is good for them which is favorable for them that you from previous sanskar you want very spicy food and if you are actually taking spicy food you are feeling very good and our guru jor if i my guru dev is by mistake he is giving some spicy food he is speaking oh my god my uh, mouth is burning so like this it is so from the previous sanskar what you are getting uh, happiness that from the previous sanskar what practice they are having according to that practice only they are feeling happiness or what is which is actually anukul that thing which is they are feeling favorable according to their previous sanskar that what kind of condition that person that he is thinking that it is actually good for him that is actually uh, favorable for him then it is that is happiness for him and what is actually from his previous sanskar he is thinking that is not at all good this is actually sorrow for him that what we are thinking that it is the actual reason for our sorrow that it is not the actual reason for sorrow for others and what is actually happiness for us that is uh, maybe the actual cause of sorrow for them it means a relative world that this relative world this relative world in this relative world that kind of happiness and sorrow that kind of um, uh, sharing feeling is there it is not at all there it will not it is unstable it cannot stay longer it will just stay for for some times so that's why pralad maharaj ji actually speaking sukham indriya kam daicha deho yogena dehi naam sarvatra that this kind of happiness and distress what you are getting that according to your previous sanskar that according to your previous sanskar only that oh my asura friends um, small children that this you are actually feeling it uh, happiness and distress when you are getting this material body and after getting all those material sense organs that according to your previous sanskar you are developing all your material sense organs and whatever your material sense organs are there they are actually doing their individual respective duties and they are all the time busy in uh, uh, getting different kind of enjoyments eyes are speaking you give us me and skin speaking that you give me this and the tongue is speaking you give me this so all this kind of things will go on continuously it will not at all uh, it is they, they are having for infinity time they are actually not at all feeling rest for infinity jeevas and for infinity birth life uh, cycle of birth and death and this kind of uh, sensual enjoyment from their material sense organs it's all the time going on from infinity time period but still they don't have no kind of nivritti out of this they can't get out of this at all by because in fire when you are putting more ghee on that fire on on in inflammable object if you are putting on fire then fire will increase more and more that in that fire if you will put some ghee and some inflammable object that kerosene or ghee or whatever petrol you are putting on the fire then definite it will not stop it will increase more and more that it will not get finished it will not get vanquished at all it will increase more so all the material um, world is actually just getting entangled in this maya 
so kind of of sensual enjoyment after doing so much enjoyment after just doing so much kind of uh, uh, efforts they are putting he is getting surprised to uh, give all kind of efforts like this but still he is not at all getting out of this at all it is not at all getting destroyed so this kind of uh, <coughs> situation for each and every bonded jiva in the whole material world we can see that no one actually is feeling that at all i have already that he, he don't no one actually speaking that i have seen a lot now okay that's it full stop i don't want this whatever actually whatever whatever kind of sorrow he or distress he is getting definitely he need that only that's why prahlad maharaj speaking that they have yog when this material body we are getting then all the time it will just continuously go on giving us we will get that material body only continuously like uh, distress someone actually is getting uh, sorrow that nobody wants that give me sorrow except kunti devi everyone needs happiness all material world speaking that you give me happiness I, that nobody speaking that give me sorrow nobody is there pralad maharaj speaking that nobody wants sorrow at all in his life they just want to remove sorrow from their life all the time do who wants distress in their life without any care without any personal effort they don't want any kind of sorrow in their life without any efforts that uh, uh, sorrow uh, and distress will come in our life definitely it will come who can stop that nobody can stop that at all nobody is there to stop this all the time it is going on happiness means that we are not at all getting happiness in reverse we are getting sorrow and distress that's it that we have giving marriage to him uh, to his daughter just for anand but uh, what happened that within two months two months his husband just got killed to got died and after that before two months he was feeling uh, so much happiness but th- there is a flood of happiness and after two months when uh, his swami is gone then uh, there is a flood of cry so this is the actual history of this material world what to do this is the actual history of this material world that by which we cannot get out of that that's why pralad maharaj speaking that this all the time will go on continuously in a cycle this won't stop at all this all the time will go on so that uh, this you just have need to make this vichar that uh, by doing bhakti what kind of advantage you can get and now this actually question is coming that from this since this sansar where from it comes that because in the swarup of jivas there is no uh, name uh, like sansar this shloka you on when you are making this vichar it is very important in this you can see that that what you think as sansar there is no word as sansar you can see in this material world at all jisma prasang vimukha ih sansaranti jisma prasang vimukha ih sansaranti aapka jo vimukha hai that what is actually uh, away from you which is opposite from your bhav they actually will be going in this sansar going in this sansar means that this sansar is not in the swarup of the jivas karana nishinishaya na na manurat dhiya khana bhagana nidra daiv ahata rachana risayo yopi deva jishmat prasanga vimukha ih sansaranti मूविंग that the sansar it is not at all there in the swarup of jivas in the swarup of jivas no sansar is there at all no material world is there at all but they are actually just entangled in this material world maya 
any how that they not at all going to um, uh, accept this point not at all whatever kind of discussions you are just putting in front of them or proofs if you are putting in front of them but they are not at all ready to get because they don't want to get out of this material sansar those who just going and just going to sleep there it is very difficult to uh, rise him and those who are actually that's who he is already getting his cup at actually he he is actually sleeping but he don't want to sleep but he is just doing the drama of sleeping how it's just cup at bhav what we can do he don't want to get up that he is already active but he that how i can make him more active it is not at all possible so this is the actual situation of this material world they don't want to uh, get out of their sleep that krishna that your that, that those who are actually away from your uh, association for them this material world is there yes maya devi has just made all the arrangements like this for those who are actually away from this association of krishna all very nice spicy and chatpata actually everything is there shila bhakti wala of this kosmara used to speak that those who are taking the laddu of delhi they are actually taking those who are taking they will also get distress those who are not at all taking that laddu they are also in distress and sorrow this is the actual point he used to smile laugh and speak this point this is the laddu of delhi if you will take that laddu still you will feel, feel sorrow that why i have taken and when you have not taken are why i have not taken this definitely it is necessary to take that laddu uh, and when you taking that you are thinking oh it is very wrong to take that <laughs> so it's like this going on what to do by agyan by unknowledge by unknowledgeness that his actual brahm knowledge is actually getting a uh, curtained by that unknowledge of maya by the knowledge of maya the actual brahm knowledge is getting curtained by the knowledge of maya vidya and avidya that it is already there in the hidden form of the swarup of the jiva bahirmukh kaise hai nasanadi bahirmukh from where it has come if avidya if it's already there inside him in hidden form and vidya is also there in hidden form in his swarup that the pradhan of the vidya the brahma knowledge when he will get the association of sadhu sang he will get the sadhu association jab sadhu sang ho when he will be getting association of sadhu jab sadhu sang ho then he will be getting the actual association of sadhu then only that avidya will uh, go away from that particular jiva automatically it will get destroyed so this situation sansar mein aap ho in this material sansar you can see but definitely this material world is not at all there in the swarup of the jivas jusmat prasanga vimukha iho sansaranti aur ye jo and this uh, arjun ka jo sthiti hai the situation of arjun now you can see arjun that arjun he is actually is not at all away from bhagwan at all that he is not at all against from against uh, bhagwan but still arjun is standing there in this situation krishna is making him stand so that this uh, geeta pravachan can get established that's why arjun from where different different kind of vichar he is actually representing in front of krishna so that he can uh, uh, represent that kind of happiness and distress sorrow different different kind of uh, vishay he is putting in front of uh, krishna like a pandit he is speaking are it is not at all good this jati dharma will be just get destroyed and kuldan will get destroyed it is better to do bhiksha uh, uh, like that it's good to do that like the first shlok from bhagwat ji mahapurana i have already told jo shlok that shlok bhagwat ji mahapuran ka in bhagwat ji mahapuran glorification it is written duksha roop vimoh kaha shutah kasyo dhanam kasyo sneho van jagat chalati anisham ha is baat ka agar pakka at this point if you are getting the actual realization complete realization if you can get that lot of uh, this udaharan uh, hai examples are there regarding this that's why hearing one shloka that you are speaking that nothing is there in this sansar 
I just want to get out of the sansar. And immediately that he is just, uh, just uh, leaving everything and going away. Definitely, this sansar, nothing is there at all. This is just all temporary. This is just like Vimohan. Sansar is just to attract, just to di- di- distract you. Where woman, where man, where all relatives, where brother, father, who are there? Nobody is of no one at all. Who is of who? No one is of no one at all. That Atma Devji Maharaj speaking, uh, he is actually making uh, his, uh, he, he needs to suicide, make his life end. That he hasn't got anything in his life. No daughter, no son, nothing. Uh, he is getting no siblings, no uh, son he is getting in his life. That one sannyasi actually speaking to him that for your even seven lives you are not at all having no son, no daughter. No, definitely you need to give me some uh, daughter or son. Otherwise I will uh, will uh, leave my body and I will uh, do suicide. And he is, the sannyasi speaking, okay, you wait. And after that, what has do, has been done, it's already been done. You already know that. That it is just the actual, uh, his destiny it is. That in his destiny, no son is there. Definitely, he don't will not be having that son. That fruit he already taken from sannyasi. But this is the actual uh, play of uh, Krishna that he has given that fruit to the Gaumata because he, from where he can get the son because no son is there in his life. That uh, if he forcefully wants to apply that, what he can do? And if the and also the actual daughter daughter in law that what her her, her daughter. Uh, her wife's daughter he is actually taking the son of her wife's daughter and his and he is not the actual son of uh, Atmadev and he Atmadev thinking that uh, he is his only son but it is his only fault and the wife also speaking lie that he is my son but actually he is not his son at all and Atmadev speaking that how I am actually getting this kind of son like that why for this thing so for actual targeted object we want we don't have any stability for regarding that if our step actual targeted object in our life is not at all stable when we are not at all stable for that targeted object in our life then it is not at all stable up till that point that uh, distress will definitely come and the targeted object is all the devotees it is the actual stability they were getting and nobody can speak like with full pratigya that my target is fixed. Nobody can speak that. They don't have this kind of courage and bravery to speak like this. It is not at all possible like that at all. Up till that point, that param vastu, that topmost vastu, that absolute vastu, that support we are not at all getting. Then all small things we are actually feeling attraction for these things. No father in the whole world can just uh, has this, this kind of power to take him away from this kind of attraction that what is our actual target in my life it is actually if it is actually fixed or stable and who is actually getting that fixed only sadhu is having that fixed target ekanta jivana means munero kanta jivana means that in uh, with a very fixed and stable mind you are taking the lotus feet of uh, krishna and you in all the time you are thinking uh, in the harikatha of uh, krishna in the vichar of krishna and in solitary place also nirjan sthan you can also go and who is actually making you speaking not to go there you can also go in a nirjan sthan who is actually speaking not to go there you can go there easily lot of uh, so much uh, money power you are having you can go there but what is the actual use going there because if you will go in nirjan then this same bonded uh, mind and chit you will be taking there no you can't just throw your mind and intelligence and false ego there if you will go on a very isolated or nirjan stand whether in himalayas or jungle you are going but still you're not gonna throw that uh, mind and intelligence and false ego that this bonded chit but this is your actual problem that you will be taking this same intelligence and false ego there in this nirjan man because this in that nirjan sthan also the actual situation of your bonded mind this will be taking with you there in the jungle so what is the actual reason you will not get anything so that same uh, chit this bonded mind and the false ego will just make you fall down in this material maya you haven't understood this point completely that whatever kind of things there is no problem at all but only this kind of problem is there this your heart chit 
this only bonded chit and um, uh, false ego this is the actual reason of your bondage in this material world if you are getting out of this um, uh, material bondage of chit then automatically you will be getting out of the cycle of birth and death you can get the a complete bondage in your life in order to understand this point completely all kind of problems can get rectified in going to the nirjan sthan isolated place that kind of material mind and false ego will that with false mind will be going there and he'll be just doing all opposite things in the life jad bharat ji maharaj you can see so he is so much nice controlled and stable mind he has having he has just uh, put off all kind of uh, capital ship and kingship and he is just going into the jungle and after that and he is going to a very nice place at the place of gandaki nadi river gandaki at there what happened nothing is there that uh, only is just uh, going to a uh, in the form of a deer that who is having so much kind of uh, kingship and whatever kind of respect he is actually having he is actually all his queens and son daughter everything he has just uh, um, uh, left that and after that he is just going for a small thing like a dear baby he is getting attracted to a dear baby why because up till that point his mind and intelligence it is not at all there at the absolute place absolute platform it is not at all get stable at that point that's why it happened his situation is very good his varag is very good but not at the absolute platform but still his uh, mind is not at all that at the absolute platform it is not at all at the absolute position now presently his mind the situation of the mind is not at all at the absolute platform at present that's why you can see just he is just getting attracted to a small dear child so any how this material mind we just can do all false things with us any time it can do that that's why no need to take take it in confidence your material mind at all at any time don't need to make any kind of confidence on your material mind and false ego definitely you're gonna get a false result out of that so now actually question is coming bhakti rut paddhati pumsam shoko mo bhaya pa that on the lotus feet of krishna that by getting that uh, by hearing the hari katha of krishna they are actually feeling attraction for that that nischit meva definitely they are feeling attraction for hari katha and hari kirtan just by hearing that and speaking that only they are feeling attraction for that only param purush bhakti rutpanno bhakti rutpaddhati pumsam shoko mo bhayapa shok that uh, fear fear jealousy attraction distress for infinity time it will just go away from your life but the actual situation of arjun externally it looks that he is in a bonded condition that he is a very big pandit and the topmost viraga is there inside him and he has just taken up the topmost viraga in his life but according to the vichar of shastras that he is there on the neutral platform according to the vichar of shastras arjun now actually is uh, there in a dramatical uh, position he is actually an eternal person but now actually is doing leela he is in a dramatically in a bonded state he is dramatically doing a bonded state in the bonded condition and if he is not at all there in the dramatical position then why this kind of question can come in front of krishna whether to fight or not to fight how this question can come in in uh, the mind of arjun whether to do fighting or not it's good or not you tell me this kind of uh, confusion how it can go whether to die or whether to live it is good or bad so this all these two, both the things are actually relative in nature it is not at all transcendental arjun externally he is actually very much uh, intelligent and he is actually very intelligent person externally but how this people, the, those who are pandit they are not at all getting entangled in all these things but it means that arjun is not at all pandit now in the present condition 
that is dramatical position uh, that arjun actually is putting a bonded condition is very much uh, dangerous in life that kind of confusion and puzzling condition in the life of definitely there is one kind of fault in that and doubts are always there and it is very dangerous and this is one kind of suspended condition oscillating condition in which your decision is actually going to and fro no stable position you are getting that this all these two questions that whether to do uh, fighting or not and whether it is good or bad this kind of uh, to and fro puzzling condition this kind of both whether to do or not to do battle on the war or to go on the war this kind of both things they are actually called aham this is all false ego it is actually representing false ego that the actual situation of your chit the arjun that this is your actual situation that this is all ahankar tatva that who are you to just battle it out in this battlefield and whether you can get victory who are you to get the victory in this battlefield and who are you karmanya adhikar asti karmanya adhikar asti no phaleshu kadachan according to your previous sanskar that your that your present situation according to that only you just need to do karma or definitely you need to do karma but the fruit that if you will be just making the decision of the fruit it is not at all there in your hands at all it is out of your hands so how you can speak now that i will be getting victory in the life in this battle and i will maybe i can get lose uh, we can i can uh, just get l- uh lost in the battle or i can win in the battle how it can be possible like that how you can uh, uh, conduct that so this this is all relative truth and now you cannot you are actually taking just relative truth in your life now this which are what you are taking in your life that is all relative truth that which has no stability at all in the life that uh, life and death which has more stability in life nothing when you are getting life definitely you are getting death when you are getting death definitely you are getting life again birth again so birth and death is going going hand by hand vasudev ji maharaj also speaking that you see when you are getting birth from that time only definitely you are taking death with you along with your birth janma mittu batang viro dehinu sahajayati Vasudev ji Maharaj the top most intelligent uh, pandit Vasudev ji Maharaj actually speaking that kans uh, you see when you are taking birth along with that 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 you are always always taking with that this is actually a correct point that the birth and death that it is actually connected with this material body only and we are approaching towards death Pakka, definitely this is a very top most absolute we truth and we are approaching towards death we are going towards death now we are just running towards death that only one devotee that his uh, his calculation is totally different that whole material world is going towards death at the time of uh, basant spring season that uh, whatever kind of leaves of the green leaves of uh, trees and bushes they are actually all falling down slowly steadily you can see in the spring season that uh, when the air is blowing that all the leaves old leaves are actually just uh, going down on the ground and they are actually getting separated and going down on the ground slowly steadily hamara jo that our takdeer hai what is our actual hamara jo niyat hai and what is our actual nature and what is our actual situation of this life definitely there is some kind of calculation of our life when we are getting birth then only the calculation starts when we have to go also from this material world it's already written then when we have to go we don't know at all but definitely we need to leave this body it's already written there that this time you just need to go the lot of uh, cases i have already seen that is so much anand is there happiness is there that new new house he has made for himself very nice house big building he has made for his living 
and now it's his actual destiny America's what to do that from america he is a homeopathic doctor at the bank of saraswati in front of bhakti no thakur akona i was actually seeing very beautiful house he is actually prepared that just like externally you can see very nice and with mystery speaking and or you just need to destroy it again are no no it's not at all good you just uh, again you just uh, uh, break it down and whatever he has just made this kind of thing all tiles nice nice things he has prepared base in base in everything he has uh, prepared there and after that what he has done he just this is the actual destiny that when that at the time of grah pravesh at that time at the time of grah pravesh that tomorrow is actually grah pravesh that at night time he just need to leave his body now you see what's the condition so much uh, his uh, life is his age is also not very too high he has made so much uh, uh put so much money and effort on that house but still he didn't got this chance to just stay in the house for even one night or one day so what actually it's written it's already written definitely it's going to happen nobody is there to stop that at all what actually is written definitely it's going to happen in the destiny nobody can stop that the actual leaves of the, at the time of spring season all the green leaves of the trees when spring season is coming slowly steadily all those uh, dry leaves will just go down that in our life also this uh, morning only we are getting up i don't know when just like wind time is going on are now morning just came now is time is gone are now actually again night coming then again morning coming so like this time is going like wind i can't even understand how my life is actually going on how life uh, day is going on i don't know at all so this wish definitely we just need to need to think of that is one by one like se- spring season we can see all these leaves are going down dried up that like this each and every day of our life like spring season one do- one day two day third day like this it's going on day by day it's going on and on yeah i am just going to just uh, at the time of completion is going to done to be done for me and at that time that my situation comes kantham ghar ghur ghur ayate bolne ka jawan bond ho gaya that my tongue has just stopped i am not at all able the having the ability to speak i can't speak now zindagi mein kab that in this life what kind of situation can come i don't know at all that's why har waqt all the time only this uh, decision should be there that all kind of faults and doubts can go away from my life completely destroyed from my life no faults and doubts can stay in me whether to do not to do nothing can stay in my life shila vishnu chakravarti was speaking that you see this that they have just came to do bhajan and now again their shraddha is not at all uh, uh, permanent their shastri shastri shraddha and laukik shraddha two types of shraddha are there shila vaman go swami maharaj always used to speak this answer regarding the question of shraddha that laukik shraddha and shastri shraddha when laukik shraddha will be there then any time uh, uh, problem can come in your life because he is actually very soft shraddha he is having that is shraddha towards bhajan that is actual situation of his consciousness is not at all good it is very puzzling and is very soft it can be blown away very easily that is laukik shraddha it is not at all uh, permanent shraddha and shastri in and shastri shraddha what do you mean by shastri shraddha that uh, just uh, guru vishnu uh, bhagwan's pravachan having full confidence on it that is called shastri shraddha that to have that confidence is not a very it's a very big thing that because of having not no shastri shraddha that uh, komal shraddha uh, jeevas can just fall down any time there is no stability for them at all shri lavishnu chakravarti pal speaking that you see that when you are coming in this life see even your situation is uh, even fraction of second the situation of our heart just got changing that utsah mai he is very feeling very much uh, topmost utsah so much uh, current is feeling for seva now 
ಘಂತರಲ ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ನಿಯಮ ಕ್ಷಮ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ so like this it's all going on round the clock so much uh, utsah i am getting to do that particular thing ghantarla okay now it's good not good now his actual thing is actually getting down now sometimes it is there maybe sometimes you are getting power and again again they are actually losing power spiritual power that is ghantarla pure vipakal but now he is actually not at all uh, feeling what to do what not to do he is uncertain and definitely i'll be discussing this all topics on the right time so now the actual thing is that doubts and faults should get away from our mind and who is there to just remove our doubts and faults only pure guru vishnu can do that apart from that no one can do at all just to remove all the faults and doubts from our body and just to make our life actually successful only pure guru vaishnava are there in our life who can do that apart from no one can do that at all now this uh, uh, doubt uh, condition of doubt we are having that we are actually having so much instability in our mind that the actual ahankar uh, pathway that is actually one unstable land that we just need to remove that and uh, we are actually getting the solution from bhagavat sriyamanayam krishne parama purushe bhakti rutpadati pungsam sokamoho bhayapa sokamoho ko hatane ke just in order to remove distress and fear full fear there is no other pathway open for us apart from that which is this pathway only to just take uh, the shelter of pure guru vishnu that to just go to the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu here krishna mande jagat krishna swayam in the form of guru he is actually standing in front of arjun guru means that krishna is definitely guru is universal guru but still arjun now at present his situation in this puzzling situation in dramatical position he is actually uh, taking bhagwan as guru up till now he is thinking that his uh, he is his friend that whatever kind of playing and coming and sitting and with full enjoyment he is actually going with krishna that now in fraction of second how his nature can just get changed from enjoying as a friend to guru that he is speaking to krishna that now i am getting sharnagat on to lotus feet you just need to protect me now so how actually up till what point this actually thing is correct we just need to see this is actually speaking correctly only but still we have to see this point that i am already getting sharnagat on to your lotus feet that you just need to teach me the actual tatva siddhant because if because without getting sharnagat no kind of tatva gyani person can be speaking any kind of tatva to any bonded jeeva at all he will be not instructing him at all that tatva siddhant person cannot do any kind of tatva to other like one example chad bharat ji maharaj that he is speaking to rohugan that he hasn't taken any sharnagat but still there is one kind of exceptional case that is actually exceptional case so much uh, mercy mercifulness is there inside the heart of jad bharat that he is speaking to rahugan and he is just uh, showering his mercy on uh, rahugan this is actually natural tendency of his uh, mercy mercy that is topmost jigyasa that atma jigyasa tatva jigyasa just by taking that tasmat guru prapadde to jigyasu shreyam uttama kiska paas jaye bole sabde to go sanatam ya sabd brahmani that is shabd brahmani and par brahmani both are actually brahm shabd brahm and par brahm there is actually no difference in them but still there is actually two swarup of them shabd brahm from shabd brahm by getting nishnat from it that gurudev just can do the vichar and speaking that in the shastra it is written like that shabd parich nishnat para brahman nishnat hona zaruri hai and in para brahm that nishnat it is very much important that it means 24 by 24 hours who are all the time busy in bhagavat seva that who is nitya guru that is actually the definition of sadguru prabhupada actually speaking that tomorrow we will be discussing that again 
सबते परे जो निष्णातम That Nishna it means very worst, worst in all the topmost stability he is having. And Bhagwan onto his lotus feet. So much uh, seva he is doing with full enthusiasm. That upasamasyan. That when job dhyan upas fasting everything he is doing for the actual seva of Bhagwan he is doing that. So like this kind of Tattva Gyani, if you are going in front of him, then definitely will get the actual advantage. Those who are actually just like false Guru, that Maharaj, that you already know me, that 50-40 years before he has taken Diksha. Prabhupada speaking, what kind of Diksha Maharaj you have taken? That you don't have any Divya Gyan, no kind of uh, introduction is there of Divya Gyan. How you can speak? that you are getting diksha it means that just by taking diksha and actual diksha there is difference you cannot speak like that if you are speaking like that then just like a, a very uh, unknowledgeable person you are speaking just by taking diksha it is just diksha it's not like that he is not at all initiated if no divyagyan is there but what kind of diksha he is getting it, it is of no use at all that kind of diksha like he is speaking maharaj that I am, it is important to just do Diksha Mantra every day or a foolish number one. What is this question? So all these questions that to give them initiation is good. <laughs> no Divya Gan has come, come inside their heart. In our, in our actual family, so much big, big things are already going on in our family of, uh, of our Sampradaya. All actually going uh, uh, by their own way. So our own sunshine in order to remove that only and only that Tattagyani Purush we just need to go in front of them but that Tattagyani Purush up till that point though they can give me they will not at all give me that Tattva Darshan up till then we will not be having that Sharnagat Bhav onto their lotus feet Tadviddhi Definitely you can understand that with full prakishta, absolute sharnagati, that full false ego, you just need to remove that completely from your heart. That even smell of false ego should not be there inside your heart. That that is called pranipad. That pranipad means just you just need to uh, slay that from your life. Slay it off. And pranipashna means that whatever kind of question regarding atma jigyasa whatever question you are doing for atma jigyasa that is called prati prati prashna yes for the actual absolute mangal you are actually doing like parikshit maharaj shila paraman sukadev goswami ji in front of him he is actually putting one question this shloka what is there by this Loka Parikshit Maharaj speaking to Sukhdev Goswami Path, he is actually speaking one question in front of Sukhdev Goswami Path. That what to do, this life is of two days, what to do? That is Pranipat. That Praniprashna is there and that Seva. These three things are very important. If actually you can just make this vichar that inside Arjun, this Pranipat is there or not? That Prani Prashna is there or is Seva mood definitely is there or not? You just need to see in Arjun all these three factors. That Bhagwan is doing the service of Arjun. He is just uh, moving the chariot. So what kind of Seva Arjun is doing for Krishna? Whether he is his friend externally that uh, so much was Bhakti Bhav is there for Krishna. But now what is the actual condition according to this present situation? You just need to make vichar. This is the actual question, no? Sukhdev Goswami Paj in front of him, Parikshit, what is the actual question in front of Sukhdev Goswami? Artho means that that's why, for what? That this life, this is actually all temporary, this life. It is just by seeing that this whole life is unstable and temporary. Just by seeing this all factors. That just like a dead body, the, for a dead human being, just after getting this life of two days, how that he can get the samsiddhi? Samsiddhi is actually bhakti. Samsiddhi is actually bhakti siddhi. It is equivalent to that. And that is called bhakti siddhi. You cannot speak that samsiddhi. It is actually bhakti siddhi. 
दैट्स वाई आई एम एक्चुअली आस्किंग यू योगी नाम परम गुरु आप जोगियों में परम दैट इन ऑल द योगी यू आर द टॉप मोस्ट योगी वाई बिकॉज यू आर जस्ट लुकिंग लाइक एज इफ यू आर सिक्स इन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय और गर्ल बट यू आर द एक्चुअल गुरु ऑफ ऑल दिस इज द एक्चुअल संसारिक मटीरियल कंसेप्शन बट इन ट्रांसेंडेंटल कंसेप्शन इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट सुखदेव गोस्वामी बाई सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड एंड एवरी वन इज जस्ट जस्ट स्टैंडिंग अप एंड जस्ट गोइंग डंड वर्थ ही इज गुरु ना दैट इज भक्ति तत्व उपदेष्टा ही इज एक्चुअली गुरु दैट्स वाई ऑल एक्चुअली स्टैंडिंग अप ऑन ऑल दिस साधु समाज दे आर स्टैंडिंग अप एंड पुटिंग डंड वर्थ ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ सुखदेव गोस्वामी बाथ and arjun now that pranipat pradiprashn and seva he is having all these three factors or not now he is actually just speaking to krishna that on your lotus feet i am actually getting sharnagat arjun speaking to krishna now he is speaking to krishna as a as his guru he is speaking that i am sharnagat on your lotus feet but this swadhim mam tam prapanya kahan tak prapanya up till what point what limit is prapanya that i am prapanya that bhagwan is actually laughing then now sanjay actually speaking eva mukta mane eva mukta means that the previous shloka which i have already told you that by speaking this shloka after that that previously he bold that karpanya dosh shamitam dharma sangud cheta ja shreya ho sat nishitam bruhi tan me shishya se aham swadhim mam tam prabhanya e to iska to vichar ho this vichar i have already done a bit and after that in the 8th number shlok swami mama pa nudyat jat chokam uchoshanam indriyanam mavapko bhumu asapatna pritham rajyam suranam upi chadhipatya iska bhi vyakhya ho this already i have just uh, given you the explanation that i have already given the explanation of this shlok in order to just uh, remove this kind of uh, Uh, fault nobody is there no kind of pathway i can see in front of me and after that now sanjay actually speaking that after speaking this the sukti uktva rishi kesham gura kesha parantapa no jatso iti gobindam ukta tusim babuva ya sochne wala hai here actually very important point is there that that uh, he is actually speaking you already spoke on this point that when you are already sharnagat on to the lotus feet then how you can have this kind of individual uh, intelligence and ego i have already told you previously no that your own false ego what proper speaking that your own false ego in order to just remove that completely that is actually called sharnagati and bhakti just your own false ego in order to remove that completely from your life that is actually bhakti that is actually sharnagati but how what kind of sharnagati you are speaking now you are speaking now swadinam tam prapanya that i am sharnagat on your lotus feet and now you are speaking that uh, i am actually just uh, representing my own thought that i will not be fighting are who are actually you to just do the fighting on the battlefield then sanatan goswami pad Gauranga charan mein on to the lotus feet of Gorang Mahaprabhu who has given everything it is very important to think that in Gaudiya darshan very nice and in depth analysis is there who will hear this Gaudiya siddhant nobody is there that in Gaudiya darshan which are who is there to just understand this up till this that in Banaras Hindu University also there also that Gaudiya vedant that they are actually speaking that who is nobody is there no student is there who can just hear gaudiya vedant so much in depth knowledge is there that's why they are hearing ramanuj vedant from vayavadi uh, are actually there. not even single person are there who are actually apart from politics just by cutting the head of others they can just go there that they can just increase the actual respect of our sampradaya nobody is there at all maybe one or two are there and they are actually again going into the a uh, job and going into the south india that's why they have just done this kind of study just not for their own study they don't want to do for their own sampradaya whether they can just get knowledge just for their own seva or they can just collect money for their own seva they can do that tum agar atma if you are already have just shown me sharnagati that krishna now laughing now you are actually speaking i am sharnagat no you are sharnagat on to my lotus feet at oh bonded jeevas 
that this kind of Sharnagata I am just seeing, I am just laughing, Krishna speaking, that what kind of Sharnagati you are showing, that bonded Jiva, their Sharnagati, I am just laughing at their Sharnagati, what they are showing, that what Sharnagati it is, it. here also they are speaking, that you actually just need to give me the instructions, everything, all Gyan you give me, and now actually you are again, how this kind of courage you can get, you are speaking this, that... Uh, that you will not fight what kind of how you are getting this kind of capacity or courage to speak that I will not fight Sanatan Goswami Pad also our Guru Varg Sanatan Goswami to him also about in Kirtan also it is written there about this point regarding Sanatan Goswami that uh, onto the lotus feet of Gorang Mahaprabhu he has given everything but when that just when he is getting skin disease on his body at that time and uh, he has just went to Neelachal and now there all the time Gorang Mahaprabhu used to just uh, 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 love him and he is speaking that I am getting bad blood on my body it's oozing out and uh, bad blood is oozing out and now you are actually just uh, hugging me and giving me love it's not good but uh, Krishna is, uh, Mahaprabhu is not at all listening and is uh, forcefully just uh, uh, doing alingan to Sanatan Goswami Pad. That uh, Mahaprabhu speaking that uh, Vaishnava body is not at all Prakrit. It is actually black, it is uh, whether he is poor or whatever he is. But Vaishnava body is not at all uh, material, it is transcendental in nature. Sanatana Goswami Bhai is actually crying. Why you are actually doing all that? I am actually speaking. I am just running away. Why you are actually touching me? I am getting bad blood. That Mahaprabhu actually speaking that I am just doing a lingan to you. Why? Why you are actually giving me a lingan? Because this all uh, bad blood is just uh, touching your body. Now Prabhu actually speaking. Sanatana, you see. That like so much topmost uh, absolute pure. Uh, pure purity is not at all there in my. That kind of qualities are not there in me. That's why I'm just uh, uh, taking a lingan and hugging you so that I can get that. That kind of topmost purity I can get inside me as well. That's why I'm just uh, getting, that's why I'm just giving you a lingan because this kind of uh, arrangement is not, is, uh, characteristics are not there in me. And now, Sanatan Goswami Pad actually has made the decision then I will be just leaving this body definitely. Why? Because Krishna will, uh, Mahaprabhu will not at all uh, uh, stop hugging me. Prabhu actually speaking that just by touching you, just in order to get purified, just in order to purify myself. That uh, this kind of uh, purity I am not at all getting, so that's why I am actually uh, touching you. So that's why Sanatan Goswami was thinking that you know, Bhagwan just touching me. So because of that, I'll at the wheel of uh, Jagannath, I will be doing, I will be giving up my body in uh, Jagannath Rath Yatra. Mahaprabhu actually, after a while, at the time of Rath Yatra, he is giving his one kind of vichar to him. What kind of vichar? That Haridas, you just think this thing, that uh, one kind of uh, treasure I have given to you, that it will be yours. No, no, it is only yours, only Haridas Thakur speaking to Mahaprabhu. It is just one kind of deposit money. Okay, so how this kind of vichar he can do, Sanatan? Sanatan Goswami, how you can do this kind of vichar, Mahaprabhu speaking? That if someone actually giving some deposit money to you and uh, you are actually thinking that you have this kind of adhikar that you can just uh, get that money out. So how this kind of vichar can come inside you? Which kind of vichar? That Sanatan, if you want to just leave your body and you can get uh, Jagannath in your body, then I will be just uh, giving up my body hundred times. What you are speaking? Huh? That if you have to leave your body hundred times and you can give, you can take Jagannath in your life, that I will just be ready to give give up my life for hundred times. Just by leaving your body, you will not at all get Jagannath. What you want to speak, that you don't know what I want to speak, uh, Sanatan. You know whatever I want to speak. That you actually want to uh, make uh, the strategy to leave up your body, but you are not at all anything. That you are doing Atma Balidan, but you are doing nothing. You already have you already have given your body to me. This body, I by your body, I will be doing lot of seva with that. But you are actually thinking that this is uh, not this is your own body. 
you already given it that my body is of gurudev that my body is of prabhupad that my body is not my body that is only for you the seva of devotees that is the actual instruction of bhagwan to all of us that uh, for our our own um, own vichar we are not at all putting for our self motive so sanatan goswami actually mahaprabhu speaking to him and if now arjun speaking this vichar same then this vichar again is coming that like uh, mahaprabhu just speaking him strictly in a very strict voice that this is my body that arjun that um, after getting shanagar onto my lotus feet how you this body is your body now that how your mind is your mind that you are actually speaking in front of me now a big pandit but this is your mind your intelligence whatever is your mind body intelligence everything you have given on to my lotus feet so this is the actual vichar so krishna bhakti no thakur already speaking in kirtan By body, speech, mind, and whatever connected to your uh, body, they, dharm, everything, you have actually given it on to my lotus feet. So it means that Arjun Sharnagati is a hundred percent fixed and absolute. Arjun actually speaking that I don't have Sharnagati at all, but his achanan is topmost. That uh, your that you have got Guru Kripa or not? This how you can configure that that you are Sharnagat or not. that all things that tatvagyani purush just can see that and can show you just by uh, externally seeing you everything he can get the information regarding that just by that vichar that this is his that uh, pure guru vishnu that pure tatvagyani guru vishnu he is uh, actually can see externally all the symptoms that in front of that mahapurush tatvagyani purush those who have weakness they will won't come in front of him just by speaking to him just in coming in front of him he can just see externally that what is his actual situation of his heart that's why there are all weak people running from that tatvagyani purush they have their own wish what to do they are actually getting this usefulness and benefit they that because that profit and loss uh, uh, account is there inside their mind they don't want to come in pure guru vishnu that is actually are thinking it's actually profitable so whatever be your case you can do that so now sanjay actually speaking rishikesham gura kesha parantapah no jatso iti gavindam uktva tushim abhuva Sanjay Sanjay actually speaking here that the actual situation now on the battlefield that Rishikesh by speaking this that Gunakesh means that is the topmost Mahavir that Kunti Nandan this Arjun he is actually speaking this uh, word in front of uh, Krishna and he is just uh, speaking to Krishna. that i won't be fighting at all and he just uh, after speaking this he just become silent aisa karke and like this bol diya he is actually speaking like that govind govind that i won't be fighting now are you speaking to krishna so this actually speaking to rishikesh and now sanjay from the side of sanjay there is one vichar very nice vichar that sanjay that same shri krishna why he is actually speaking two uh, different names of krishna you can speak krishna or you can speak uh, other name of krishna but why he is speaking two names of krishna first he is speaking rishikesh and after that he is actually speaking govind that why these two words that uh, to in front of that blind dhritarashtra both the words he is speaking that only one krishna name he can speak but he is speaking two different names there is very deep vichar in this why he is speaking two different names in front of dhritarashtra hey govind i won't be fighting at all and he is speaking uh, to rishikesh and after that he just become silent the inner meaning of this is that that maybe that uh, blind dhritarashtra he is not a normal person he is no, not a waste person Uh, blind the trust is a very powerful person but still that uh, according to his own because of his blind sneha uh, he is just like one unknowledgeable person 
in front of uh, sanjay but he's not a is not a waste person he's a very intelligent person but he's just because of his blind sneh towards duryodhan externally he is also blind and inside also inside his heart he is not at all making the actual vichar of dharma he do he always know that vidur ji maharaj has told him lost of time o oh, rajan that this uh, foolish person don't don't uh, think of your duryodhan at all he is actually doing all adharma he is doing all wrong that you are actually speaking right dhritarashtra speaking but my mind and my heart is not at all uh, accepting it that i have that blind sneh and attachment towards duryodhan you are actually speaking right vidur ji but what i can do forcefully also i am not at all uh, feeling to accept the uh, dharmic pathway i am actually in very big uh, in in the blind attachment towards duryodhan i am actually getting uh, attached to that and is if this uh, blind dhritarashtra he inside his heart he has just made this decision that okay it's very good at least uh, the fly, fight is actually is not at all going on at least i am not at all getting any disadvantage and if arjun will not do the fighting then if he will then the who will do the fighting no one will do at all so he is feeling inside his heart very good peace peaceful heart and he is feeling comfortable when he just uh, uh, heard that arjun won't fight all actually fighting is has been stopped so it means our uh, without any kind of uh, distraction my capital ship and kingship will just be saved no kind of disadvantage definitely will won't come this kind of vichar comes in the mind of dhritarashtra blind dhritarashtra it is coming there who is inside the heart of blind dhritarashtra he is already blind by heart also that as if you can see that sanjay in front of uh, in front of dhritarashtra is speaking the two different names of krishna he is speaking two different names of krishna one is rishikesh and one is govind is it mean actually it means that both the names are of krishna only that just by speaking the names of this name of krishna different names just by as if he just want to he is actually giving one kind of significance of the name that rajan don't think like this that he is rishikesh that all kind of sense organs he is actually controlling that he is the master of all the sense organs and now arjun is in great danger and how much time he will uh, uh, try to fix it up how much time it will uh, it will be there for krishna to fix it up don't take this kind of vichar that he is rishikesh he is the controller of of all the sense organs and he even will fix the present situation present mind of my mind situation of uh, arjun go means your sense organs and who is actually the master of all the sense organs that is called govind that's why yaar uh, sanjay speaking the words govind those who are actu- who is actually maintaining the go go means cows and also sense organs that your sense organs who is actually maintaining your sense organs that is called govind externally bhagwan is actually maintaining the cows and inside also internally also he is maintaining uh, our sense organs just uh, just to do without the seva of cows it is impossible that we can uh, do krishna seva so that's why just uh, because they are actually very much uh, dear and near to krishna so this just by speaking this word sanjay sanjay that he it to blind dhritarashtra he is speaking he wants to tell him that don't think that he is uh, how much time krishna will take to fix up this present situation the present mindset of arjun how much time it will take for arjun for krishna he will definitely make his mind perfect that is all mind intelligence and sense organs why who is the controller he swam bhagwan he is controlling everything parat parakleshwar bhagwan how much time it will take for krishna to fix the present situation present mind situation of arjun so maybe this uh, situation he is thinking that this situation is totally changed now no fighting will take place how much time it will take by for krishna if fighting is stopped then without any kind of uh, disadvantage that my kingship will just get protected and uh, duryodhan will remain the king he is thinking and here actually sanjay speaking don't think like that rajan don't think like that that uh, krishna will not take too much time to just uh, fix up the s- present situation and present mind of arjun samay nahi lagta 
इट विल नॉट टेक टाइम फॉर कृष्णा टू फिक्स अप द प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन एंड दैट बाय स्नेह दैट इंटरनल इंटरनल तत्व दर्शन ऑल्सो ही हैज ऑलरेडी लॉस दैट ऑन द ब्लाइंड दिथ राष्ट्र that at the time of his last breath that all those greedy persons those who are jealousy and greedy persons at the last breath of their life also they they can't get out of that greedy bhav and sanjay actually speaking that you see rajan that you see that by his doing like this संजय एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग नाउ दैट एक्चुअल गीता प्रवचन फ्रॉम हेयर इट स्टार्ट एक्चुअल गीता प्रवचन शंकराचार्य जी बैट ही इज ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग इन ऑन द साइड ऑफ भगवान ओनली फ्रॉम He is actually giving his commentary also from this very portion. Now Rishi Kesha is actually just with a very nice smile, strange and nice smile on his face. What is the actual strange reason of that strange smile? What is the actual? That is a very uh, deep situation and very. And he is smiling and he is speaking. Oh, bonded jivas, that I am seeing your sharnagati and I am doing dandvat onto your sharnagati. that now he is speaking that again he is actually so that's why the smile is coming that oh bonded jivas just by seeing your present situation i am actually laughing that you that's why this kind the condition is not of laughing but still that strange smile is coming on the face of krishna just by getting very scared just by getting shocked and amazed arjun that by arjun in a very shocked and uh, surprising situation he don't want to fight in the battle just by speaking this when he just sit down like that arjun arjun just like uh, he is actually just getting into a very shocking situation and not to fight in the battlefield and just now bhagwan krishna actually speaking with a very nice smile on his face and starting his that is the actual starting of the gita pravachan from this end from this very end this very shloka senayur bhayar madhe senayur bhayar madhe just by what the actual point by speaking this point is that this gita pravachan it is between these two armies only it's not like that it is done somewhere else it's not it is done between the two armies that in between those two armies this gita pravachan has been done and bhagwan actually standing there in between the two armies he is speaking uh, the gita pravachan and he is sarva samaksh mein and in front of everyone he is doing that gita pravachan just in front of everyone it's not like it is that secretly he has done that it is not like that but but at the time of doing pravachan that parat parakleshwar bhagwan shri krishna chandra bhagwan has so much uh, the special power has very special type of power that as if that no one has that kind of courage that what you are actually speaking oh you start the battle you are actually wasting the time this nobody can speak like that in front of krishna this is the special bra that 700 shlokas is not a very small thing it takes time how bhagwan has just grasped the time that this scientist also now speaking that time this is called time travel so this is tra- time is traveling it means that at the time of battle that the same time is going on and at that time only that 700 shlokas were made by krishna so this is your actually 
it will not come in your material mind also, limited mind. The air actually is Krishna, he is Ananta Infinity. And when that time that the battle is going to start, at the same time he is doing the pravichan. So that is the actual point, that is the actual amazing point, surprising point. That what you call Ishwar, who is Ishwar actually? Shila Bhakti Daid Madhav Goswami Maharaj uh, at uh, presently it was Bangladesh now that time it was India that Malavi actually is speaking that he can do that he is speaking to Malavi Sahib that uh, you are Allah and my Krishna that is a very small thing huh? he is actually having infinity powers that even your needle if you can see one very small gap in the needle in, from inside that needle that big elephant also can big elephant can also pass through that small gap of the needle yes definitely Madhav Goswami Maharaj is speaking this example in front of that Maulavi Sahib and what do you think that Krishna can't do this and he can do that Are he can do or no it is not possible for Krishna Are you are just thinking that uh, Krishna is a small thing so you you are actually just like Mayavadi you are actually speaking that Krishna can do this and he can't do like that and Gurudev can do this and he can't do this it means you are Mayavadi you are not having full faith on Krishna Mayavadi if you are then you are having this vichar if Bhakti is there then this vichar won't come inside your heart at all Shila Bhakti Daid Madhav Goswami Maharaj wanted you always used to speak that Malvi Sahib that your Allah and my Krishna what ka, they are actually he is actually he can't do anything that from a very big elephant he can just pass from that small gap of needle from one end to the other that is called Krishna that is definitely true when our Krishna that on infinity power of Krishna that whatever kind of uh, rest, last leela, any activity of Krishna, in that no kind of uh, doubt and fault and suspicion is not at all coming. And on the activities of pure Guru of character and characteristics, we are actually getting some kind of doubt. Then definitely our uh, uh, pathway of hell and death will definitely going to open for us. But uh, just to get, just uh, if our body is getting destroyed, that is not a problem. But if Atma is getting destroyed, then it is a big problem. If body is getting destroyed, then no problem. But if the Atma is getting uh, fallen down, then to rise up from that fallen condition, it's very impossible. Without the association of pure Guru Vaishnava, there is no other pathway open. No other pathway open. How you can just uh, uh, level up that uh, fallen Jeevatma? Only and only by getting the association of pure Guru Vaishnava and Sadhus, we can get the actual Kripa and we can just get out of that fallen condition. That's why Bhagwan is actually speaking in Gita. That just in order to, uh, first you just need to um, get out of the bondage self self bondage means you just need to get out of uh, your bondage first that is a very nice slow uh, riddle from the english that uh, you just all the time just want to think that uh, you just want to get out of this bondage first krishna is already there at your back to help you but first you are actually getting the fruits of your own action but guidance actually is given by krishna from inside but you are not at all actually according to your sanskar you are actually you are actually making Acharya, Maya Devi as Acharya. And in this, uh, what Krishna can do? Nothing Krishna can do in that. That your Atma, you are actually getting into a fallen condition. And don't make your Atma going towards the fallen condition. That your Atma Vastu, don't get it towards the pathway of fallen condition towards hell if it is gone then everything is destroyed you just now you have time you just stop this that lala babu you can see the example of lala babu that one one servant one servant of lala babu just by one word he is actually getting shocked and just so much atom bomb is charged still your heart is not at all getting changed what is the actual situation of your heart i can't understand lala babu was a big businessman in Vrindavan, he has his mutt also there in Vrindavan. That Gokul Chandrama, there. 
a near Gopeshwar Mahadev. His mat is there, Lala Babu. And this Lala Babu is a big businessman and from a big family. That at the time of his birth also, that his uh, grandfather, he has given on the gold foil. He is just uh, writing uh, the actual uh, uh, birth of his son. He is actually giving to ev- each and every one the uh, actual uh, invitation of his uh, birth of his son. That uh, Rad- R- Rabindana Thakur also, Dwarkana Thakur, his father, he always used to wear jewel in his uh, chapel. Now that jewel is more than 50 crores now. That same jewel he is actually putting it uh, at his uh, chapel. So I can't make the evaluation but he used to wear it in his chapel. Just in order to show that so much power I have. <laughs> so, this all actually, this uh, you can't even imagine. You will not get any confidence in that. But still it is true what to do. So, this Lala Babu, at the time of birth of Lala Babu, that kind of invitation letter, it is just made in the gold foil. It is actually getting typed in gold foil. And so, he's so much topmost uh, uh, upper class birth he has taken. And he has got so much infinity uh, treasure also. But that the grandfather and all, everyone has just uh, left their body. And whatever business uh, was there, all actually gone into the shoulders of Lala Babu. And there is one day, there is a holiday. At that day, on Sunday, he is actually just uh, sitting there. And he is actually just calculating his profit and loss account. And at that time, maybe I can get rest today. No, 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 I can't rest today. Uh, definitely I'll do some uh, profit and loss all actually he always used to do and if someone will do someone can uh, do miscalculation and just by calculating all profit and loss and now actually just uh, evening dawn going to come and that servant actually came and from the ground she is actually speaking to someone Are, just uh, in the basna just uh, uh, do some the day is going on you just give fire into the basna and it's just like a uh, Arrow, it's going into his heart. Are Basna, just to put fire in that. What do you mean by that? That uh, life is going. Are what kind of vichar is going on? This vichar inside his heart. That Chatta Guru, he is actually just getting activated inside his heart. And by just get the actual vichar, it is just getting targeted on the right target. And servant is actually speaking that uh, this evening is going, the day is going on. Just uh, this, all these dry leaves, we just need to fire it up very quickly. Basna means you don't know in Bangla that basna means to dry dry leaves and all those uh, uh, dry leaves of bananas. That uh, one juice is getting out of those banana. That Phuleshwar Prabhu our that Shilatit Goswami Maharaj, uh, very nice kirtan used to do and he actually used to make and just uh, show me and uh, he's very very it's very very clean and all it's just like caustic soda just by firing it up and at that time this only uh, was used they, that one juice is coming out of after firing it and so that it can use as a soap here actually Lala Babu getting one kick definitely yes the life is actually going away and my 60 years, my actually already I am going away after 60 and my life is going away. What to do? And what to do? I am just uh, getting into profit and loss account and my death is already coming and maybe today or tomorrow I will leave my body. Immediately he just kicked everything away and now today I will, my already got my uh, mind very clean and after that he just kicked everything away and going away from there, Lala Babu. And now, after that, that Siddh Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj, he is taking uh, Diksha and initiation there at his lotus feet. He has done a lot of bhajan. And uh, what time, at what, that who will start his bhajan, this you can't even imagine. That's why Shabda Brahm, in order to hear that, it is very much important, with very careful mind, not like drama. Harikatha is not a drama at all. You just need to hear it very carefully. Who will actually hear it very carefully? He will get the advantage. And you see what kind of situation has been made here. That Lala Babu in the life of Lala Babu also. You can see just by seeing only that my our, but our life, in our life so much Guru Vaishnava Harikatha has come. They are doing so much for us. But we are not at all 
not even a fraction of a level is not getting up in our life we are not only in fallen condition when we will not at all kicking our false ego away then up till that point in order to step up in bhajan rajya it is 0.001 cm mm we cannot get uh, uh, leveled up our consciousness that is very fixed and absolute point when i'm speaking in front of you be sure about that Arjun he is actually just with a very nice smile he is actually speaking the reason behind this is that Krishna wanted to speak that oh bonded jeevas that i have already seen your sharnagati i am actually saluting and doing dandavat on your sharnagati what kind of sharnagati you are giving what does it mean that that he is not at all speaking in a very hidden form that bhagwan is speaking this tatva darshan in front of everyone and all those uh, two uh, bad, uh, two that 700 shlokas was uh, pravachan was given uh, in between those battlefield between the two armies it is how it is possible it is possible because he is krishna if our in our calculation and estimation it will come krishna will come then logical interpretation uh, cannot stand in the way of absolute truth because krishna can't come in that logical and uh, logical and suspicions in front of everyone bhagwan in front of that battlefield is speaking that uh, bhagwat uh, pravachan gita pravachan but yes that infinite power that for a time being they can't speak anything where the time are why you are wasting time we want to start the battle no they are not at all speaking like nobody has this kind of courage to speak in front of krishna like that he is rishikesh no his name is govind he is the controller and master of all sense organs so this which are with an actual mood if we want to understand and you just understand this which are then only you can get the actual mangal sanjay after speaking this now there by seeing the situation of arjun like this rishikesh swayam bhagwan govind shri bhagwan avach now bhagwan speaking now it's a very nice bhagwan krishna swayam speaking that maharaj swayam krishna also speaking previously also maharaj ji krishna vacha yes krishna already speaking yes he already spoken but that the actual bhagwata platform on onto that platform bhagwan was not speaking like that that previously krishna bhagwan vacha like that he is speaking but that bhagwata that platform that position of bhagwat bhagwatatva that there is one if some uh, big uh, a person is actually coming and he is just coming to his house and just uh, like with his child he is playing uh, on his uh, like a horse he is playing with that but when he is going to the office then he will do like that no not at all and when he is coming to the house that even a small uh, old lady speaking are what you are doing what mother i have done here actually everything is done in the house the behavior is uh, different whether he is prime minister also he is actually just putting his head down to his Uh, to his mother they are actually rules of uh, office won't uh, work at all so this is the actual thing krishna up up till now has just uh, telling the normal things but don't on the platform of bhagwat bhagwat uh, tatva just like an acharya he is doing the work just like an acharya he is speaking to krishna just uh, giving a foul words to arjun but when he started this bhagwat pravachan now actually what krishna here actually written shri bhagwan vacha that what bhagwan is actual platform bhagwan is coming on to that and on that bhagwat platform bhagwan is speaking that to arjun so this is the actual speciality very very nice speciality shrimad bhagwat gita श्रीमद भगवत गीता एंड श्रीमद भगवत गीता श्री एंड श्रीमद भगवत जी महापुराण सॉरी एंड श्रीमद भगवत गीता इन बेड व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम दैट इज एक्चुअली कृष्णा स्पीकिंग एंड हियर एक्चुअली ऑल डिवोटीज आर स्पीकिंग इन भागवतम दैट भगवान स्वयं स्पीकिंग हिज ओन वर्ड्स दैट आई एम दिस आई एम दैट आई एम दैट it is not at all possible for krishna that doing your own uh, self uh, manifestation of his uh, glorification it's not at all good and the someone actually speaking that they he is number one uh, politician someone speaking about krishna that he is actually speaking about his own glorification so just by glorifying his own own self it is not at all possible it is not at all possible to understand and if some sukhdev goswami pad or some other devotees have done glorification of bhagwan then it has more and more uh, value sukha mukhad amrita dvasam yutam 
that sukh that one bird is there that from his uh, from his mouth that actual fruit which already has been tasted that is actually more tasted more uh, nectar full of nectar and more sweet that fruit is which is already tasted by shuka so that is the actual thing that krishna is speaking that you, this is the top most and correct point that apart from that nothing is top most what the devotees are speaking this is definitely correct but krishna's uh, word if he is actually if it is coming from the div- mouth, lotus mouth of the devotee then what kind of nectar it is having it is getting more and more sweet nectar is coming out of that that is the same glorification of krishna only but more and more nectar is there but everything is been spoken by krishna but in order to speak openly about himself it's not at all good that's why gorang mahaprabhu that bhagwan shri krishna shri krishna chaitanya in the form he has come in this kaliyug so that that uh, the actual krishna katha what krishna has done all he can just uh, in a very proper uh, manner he can uh, speak to everyone and he has taken the form of a devotee so that this kind of uh, comfort can come because to speak our own glorification is not possible so that's why just by taking uh, the taking the vesh of devotee he has just came that's why it is become more and more nectarian and sweet now what actually spoken here bhagwan vacha it is a very important point and it is very very difficult to understand as well and is very important from here the actual pravachan of gita starts krishna that own platform that bhagwat platform bhagwan krishna speaking on to that that platform and on to that platform krishna speaking that that you are actually just like pandit you are actually speaking arjun and now you are speaking that how i can't fight that this uh, this is actually nitya vastu that is atma vastu that uh, what you are, which is not at all thinkable which is out of your thinking that on that thing only you are putting more and more pressure and focus that you are just just having this distress and sorrowful mood and you are speaking just like a pandit and you are a big viragi you are speaking like that just like a gyani you are speaking that it is a uh, calm actually this is actually the work is opposite and you are thinking like a pandit you are thinking that you are just because if the life vitals of the air or vitals of the life is going away from your body then what is the use if uh, some uh, living personality or person and some living per- pandit he is not at all making any kind of uh, distress and sorrow mood for anyone who is actually killed bhagwan shri krishna he is actually speaking to uddhav ji maharaj regarding this that pandit is that person that who knows that how he will be getting into bondage and how to get out of that bondage he is that actual pandit that atma vastu who knows it definitely that is the actual pandit that is the actual pandit who knows about that atma tatva those who will be just memorizing all the shastras that he has his more memory to has the more power of memory he is not at all pandit he can be a uh, ass also who can learn lot of things that how he can done an opposite work and he can just learn shastra and he can speak like a good orator it's not like that those who knows that this is my bondage and in by working on this i'll can get out of this bondage and he knows about that tatva darshan that with full direct feeling he is actually pandit who is that in a, getting that realization and you are speaking that uh, you are just speaking like pandit but that actual pandit for those uh, temporary things he will not go for that at all that birth and death both are actually relative truth what do you mean by death death is nothing but is your atyantik visruti means atyantik visruti means that this birth has been done like this and in your other birth that you won't remember that what has happened in the previous birth atma is only one and the same 
that same atma that according to the previous karm what you have done according to this you just need to go into other uni or species according to that karm fall you have need to get into that that same atma was to that same is there but atma smriti won't be there you can't remember it what was you from the previous birth you won't remember that that atyantik visruti that you wo- will forget your uh, you will forget your consciousness and that link what was there rationality regarding your previous birth you will forget that completely that those who are actually doing sorrow those who are all the time distressful they won't be having any link and those who are all the time actually uh, busy in material peep, material uh, world for them hari katha is not for them but no link is there but definitely they will forget their atma smriti there is no link that previous link is not at all there those guru vishnu those who are actually presenting that which are whatever which are they are putting in front of us whether paramans guru dev they are presenting that which are if that their link is not at all breakable it's unbreakable link link means that shrot pantha that link which is there it is never going to break that that shrot pantha link won't be broken by that uh, pure vishnu he's uh, that previous uh, link is actually unbreakable that's why narottam das thakur actually speaking in his kirtan that whatever to do, you have to do that from the previous acharyas that which are you just need to follow that which are that whatever by by that which are you don't need to cry for that at all that pandit sometimes that who is actually a fixed and absolute pandit that kind of uh, on that relative truth whether who is life or full of life or without lifeless uh, jiva he is not at all crying for him at all because he knows that he is not at all wasting his time for those things at all which is lifeless or which is of life full of life so this is the actual point here that bhagwan krishna slowly steadily that just like a pragyavan person he is actually speaking and someone actually putting one uh, logical logical question that how actually i can uh, kill them it is better to do bhiksha how i can kill them in the battlefield that i won't be sleeping very nicely also by killing them just for what all this uh, treasure and uh, kingship i will be taking uh, that like vig pandit is speaking arjun but uh, what your actual symptom is that what actual symptom you are you are uh, telling us in that it is actually fixed that you are actually in a big you are a big unknowledgeable person not a knowledgeable personality that uh, this is not at all good for you to think like that bhagwan shri krishna speaking to arjun because the first point is that that if you are pandit then by this kind of uh, fine body and subtle body and atma you are not at all getting uh, the difference between these three things what kind of pandit you are because this which are you don't know that this five uh, made of five elements this body this is different and inside that uh, sukshma deh is there that uh, mind intelligence and false ego that is called karan sharir this is different for from different different uh, births we are taking and one is jeev atma that uh, which is already there inside that that jivatma is nitya that is atma vastu in between these three if you are not at all actually finding difference that what kind of pandit you are so if this information you don't have this five element body maybe today or tomorrow you just need to leave this so if definitely want to leave that what kind of uh, distress or sorrow you are or getting unhappy for that definitely that uh, thing any how any how one way or other you have to leave that that you are actually making becoming unhappy for that thing and you are just want to stop that thing from going how it is possible because it will definitely get destroyed one day is uh, is there any way out that you are thinking that to stop that but you don't have any pathway just to stop that so why you are actually crying for that so maybe today this kind of death there is no solution in the today's modern world there is no medicine maybe corona's medicine can come today or tomorrow but this kind of death 
that cancer medicine can also come and uh, tuberculosis medicine also every medicine can be uh, given of any disease but still this uh, death uh, what is there that kind of disease called death it has no solution up till no no solution is there you tell me is there any solution what is the actual solution of death you tell me are maharaj i have crores of been millions of but no solution is there of death that i have my money power man power no so much kingship i have what you will get out of that what you will get out of that you tell me that's why vaman goswami maharaj vaman dev always used to speak this in bhagavatam that vaman bhagwan in bhagavatam he speaking to bali maharaj that uh, this is just like a small person brahman you are speaking are you take i i am big donator and i am you just gave uh, one i'll one country or one village you take no no i only need three steps of land and uh, on that greediness you just take some something just like a small child you are speaking to in front of me you will get something some building uh, or some uh, kitchen you will make nothing will get in your uh, three uh, steps of land no no i need this vaman dev if you want speaking if you are giving then okay otherwise i'm going away after that vaman dev ji maharaj he is not he is speaking this uh, logical that the actual work of brahmans and vaishnav just to get satisfied in whatever they are getting whatever actually is required in that they are actually getting satisfied that is the topmost uh, treasure that inside uh, nobody is getting this kind of treasure if you want to make this kind of that vaman maharaj if they have you actually tested that you can just see that in all our guru vishnu this is the actual truth absolute truth that who is getting the topmost uh, by guru seva that vani seva they are getting topmost uh, peacefulness they are actually getting inside their heart if you are having that instability that previous link won't be there no it is no impossible it is not at all possible that link can be maintained that previous link can't be maintained if unstable or unpeacefulness is there inside the mind vaman bhavan bhagwan speaking that you see that from the gaya raja and all those big big kings i have seen that i have already seen the vichar actual vichar that that from the big big kings and from the big big kings and all those who are dig vijay kings i have already seen that all that uh, just uh, have already uh, getting the topmost king see nobody was there staying uh, on this uh, earth in the seventh canto also it is written regarding this that just one piece of land both the kings they are actually fighting very fice peacefully and uh, they are actually just cutting their heads but what is the actual solution and the earth mother earth is just laughing at them are this is your earth you are actually foolish okay it's your piece of land okay from where everything has gone vaman maharaj speaking that everyone has gone leave left left their body so what kind of uh, unhappiness and unpeacefulness can get inside my heart i need this object and tomorrow i'll want this object and i'm getting whether you will satis- get satisfied by getting that object no not at all yes i will get no but why you are not at all getting that satisfaction by getting that object today you need this and today after that you need this and day after tomorrow you need that and whole things and treasure and pratishtha and controlling power everything you need that krishna will give us to that jag ji jay jagdish hare you are speaking after that then only jagdish jay hare after before that no glorification so this is the actual situation what you can do so in this situation arjun that actual uh, platform of arjun that uh, gita the very basic thing in order to understand this that whole world whatever problem is going on will get finished completely in each and every shlok just we will be discussing lot of time will come but not lot of time i can't give because time is not at all there to give the actual uh, value of time i have to understand but still i am actually trying to just give you that understanding up till what point krishna can give me the uh, power to just to speak up till that limit i can speak तस्माद गुरु प्रपदेत जिज्ञासु श्रेयमुत्तम शब्दे परे च निस्नाथ ब्रह्मणि उपसमाश्रय बांछकल्पतुर्वश्य के पास सिंधु व्यवच पतितान पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो नम